Hi, my name is Johanna McNeil. Um, here I am in my classroom. I teach pre-kindergarten um, in a private school. And um, there are no kids here. Um, they have already left for the day. So today I'm gonna to talk about my lesson plan. And um, for my lesson plan, I'm going to be using the book, The Bumpy Little Pumpkin by Marjorie Coiler. And the follow-up activity will be an art activity. So for this, um, we've been talking a lot about pumpkins in the fall, the theme is fall, and we've been talking about pumpkins and how they grow. So the children have a good background on pumpkins. And um, we also want to incorporate um, other areas of um, the Common Core Standards into our lesson plans. Um, so for this activity, it's um, we focus on the domain number three, which is social and emotional development. So th this book is about a, um, a pumpkin who's bumpy, and he's very different from the other pumpkins in the patch. And because he's different, nobody wants to pick him. But little Nell really likes the pumpkin, and she wants it. So um, this book is really good when we want to talk about individuality and being unique and um, still accepting, uh, accepting that we are all different, but we are all um, special in our ways. So um, one specific area is that, I, that um, represents that is um, when Little Nell is discussing with her friends that she really wants um, the pumpkin here, but that her family thought it was too ugly. So, and she's sad here. So she said, so it says, her friend's reindeer, hare, and bear cub came along. What's wrong? asked bear cub. Little Nell sniffled and snuffled. Big Lizzie and Big Sarah think my pumpkin's too bumpy and too ugly and too, too little to make a good jack-o'-lantern. I don't think it's too bumpy, said Bear Cub. Or too little, said Reindeer. Or too ugly, said Hare. You don't, asked Little Nell. No, said the animals. The, this pumpkin would make a great jack-o'-lantern, said Reindeer, and we could help you carve it. How, asked Little Nell. Like this, said Reindeer. He lowered his head and cut around and around and around the top until he carves a lip lid. Ooh, said Little Nell, that's perfect. So after reading this book, the children will see that although the bumpy little pumpkin was different, um, somebody still liked it, okay? So he didn't have to look like the other pumpkins in order to be liked or to fit in, you know, because you know a lot of times children when they're young um, they notice differences or they might feel like they're different so um, you know reading books and giving them the boost of confidence helps them with their um, sense of self and um, understanding that everyone is unique so after we read the book um, we would go into the arts and well the kids would go into their centers and whoever would like to go into the art center would um, work on this activity, which they will create their own jack-o'-lantern. And, um, and then we will talk about the differences in everyone's jack-o'-lantern and talking about how um, not all are the same and we each make our own the way that we like them and they shouldn't look like others or it's okay to be different. So here I have some examples of some, we did this, um, already in the classroom so here I have some examples of some of the kids work and as you can see they're very different they're not all the same so some are small and round some are tall skinny and of course this one was big and fat so the whole purpose of this lesson is to for children to um, you know get that understanding that it's okay to be different um we're all different and it's okay and we're all special in our own way so 
that is my lesson plan and this is a great book if you haven't read it it's really cute um the bumpy little pumpkin so i hope you enjoyed take care